What well, it be, it's Apathy, and I am back with another tutorial. Today, we're going to show you how to stop your microphone from auto adjusting. Let me put down my headphones so I don't, you know, feel weird and whatnot. All right. So, as you can see on our screen, I'm recording my voice in Adobe Audition. That's my go to program that I record my voice uh, for commentaries or whatnot. Um, anything video related or YouTube, I record it in here and edit my audio in here. Uh, some may use Audacity, some may use, you know, nothing and just record their audio and then put it in their uh, video editing software, which I use Sony Vegas, uh, etc. So basically, I'm going to show you how to stop your microphone from auto adjusting. Um, I've been looking for this forever. Uh, there's some tutorials, but they don't really work to the full extent that I needed to. Um, so I'm actually going to show you how to fully do it. So my first step, what I'm going to tell you guys, is to go to any program that uses your microphone, any program, may that be Steam, uh, your audio recording program, uh, uh, how should I put it, um, I'm drawing a blank here, um, OBS, which is open uh, broadcast software for, uh, you know, streaming, anything, and you're going to want to edit your preferences, I'm going to go to uh, where is it? Edit preferences. And I can't do it because I'm recording right now, but you're going to go to audio hardware. Um, we can open up Skype. Where is it? Audio settings. As you can see right here, automatically adjust microphone settings. Uh, you're going to want to untick that. That's the main thing you're going to want to untick. That applies to. Um, in every tutorial that they have about this, it applies to that. You're going to untick that. Let's uh, save that. Uh, let me open up Steam. Let me open up Steam settings. Uh, where is it? Voice. Where? Um, you're going to untick boost microphone gain. You're not going to want that. Um, I don't have it actually set up because I, I just figured this out today. So I don't have it set up. But you're... Let me actually change my device. Okay, um, you're not going to want to boost microphone gain. You're not going to want to do any of that. Uh, so that's done. Now, let's move on to the main part of this tutorial that applies to everything. Now, you see how I have two different things. One is default device and one is default communications device. This is the main problem that affects everything. If you have a microphone, like an audio condenser microphone, which I have is a AT2020, you're going to want to change some settings in here. Um, what you're going to want to do is make sure you have two different things, or I don't really think you have to have two different things. I do, though. Um, make sure it is just, make sure you set it as just default communication device on your microphone. Do not set as default device or do not set them as both. That affects everything. You set it to default device, it's going to boost your microphone, it's going to lower your microphone, it's going to do all kinds of things you don't want it to do. That is the main part of this tutorial. I'm going to reiterate myself. Default communications device, that is all you want it to be set for your microphone. As you can see, my microphone levels are still 18. It has not changed. You can see me talking right here and right here on screen. It does not change. That is the main part that you need to make sure does that is set to that. Um, that's really that. That's really it for the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this helped you out if you're having problems. If you have any more problems, uh, leave a comment down below. I can help you troubleshoot. Uh, troubleshoot. Wow. Troubleshoot it. Um, but yeah, that that's the main fix for this problem. Uh, I don't know why it happens. It's I think it's a Windows 7 bug. I'm not too sure. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. My name's Colin. I know it's Apathy. I'm signing out. See you guys later.